Thank you, Walter, and thank you, Cardinal Turkson, and thank you, everyone, for sharing your very useful comments on basically the question we have for today, which is how do we move beyond the current mode of uh, reacting and responding to COVID-19 and getting to a point where we're focusing on preventing the next pandemic? Because unless we treat the root causes, what we've heard today is another pandemic uh, can come and it could be much worse. So just to remind you, we've been polling all the expert wisdom uh, and suggestions from today and discussions leading up to this event together in a, a document, in a message to world leaders, which will first go to the G20 leaders who are meeting just a month from now in Rome. And that document is being made public also on our campaign website. This is just a quick look at it. Uh, you can find that at the URL that we'll post in just a minute. And we're asking anybody who's watching and listening today, have a look at this and please give us your comments back by your close of business uh, September 6th. And we will discuss any feedback. It's a work in progress. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the Independent and Evening Standard um, are running stories on this roundtable and this issue in general. In fact, I think um, as a media company, they've been probably more active than any other that I've seen uh, on the issue of uh, wildlife trade and wildlife protection. And we've been a proud partner of, of that company as well. Uh, so we hope world leaders will listen to what we've said today and what we're going to write in that message. Um, but more important, I think, or equally important anyway, is that we build a global movement that you know, compels governments, like uh, Oliver said before, not terrorizes anybody, but encourages and compels governments to get on board with this message and to listen to us. And we also need to build a movement that frankly goes beyond governments. We can all take actions to help end pandemics. Uh, the roadmap that Dr. McCann from End Pandemics mentioned before featured uh, it has specific actions that governments, corporations, and individuals can take to mitigate the risk of, of zoonotic outbreaks, future pandemics. This roadmap is published in various languages and can be found on our website, whose URL we will post in just a moment. And more translations of the roadmap will come soon. We've got it in Chinese, to, to simplified and traditional, Thai, Vietnamese, English, of course, and more on the way. So there really is no greater cause of our lifetime right now than to prevent another pandemic and possibly an even worse one. I think we can all agree that we don't want any more COVID-19s. And in the process of preventing a pandemic, we can make our world a beautiful, healthy, and safe place to live in. So we will have follow-up sessions, but let's act now. I would like to thank uh, several people before we close now. First of all, I would like to thank the, the production team that's been behind the scenes. Uh, they've tapped people in from all over the world today. This uh, event is going out on YouTube, Facebook Live. Uh, the Independent is covering it. Um, I'm sitting here at a place called Town Square Ballroom in Green Lake, Wisconsin, which is the headquarters for Freeland. We've had people tapping in from the Vatican in Rome. We've had folks in Africa, South America, all over the, every continent in the world almost. Um, I'd also like to thank our partners on this, the co-host Vatican COVID-19 Commission, uh, the United for Regeneration, and especially our audience for, th for, for joining us today. Uh, please have a look at the URL coming up in just a moment, and thanks everybody for joining us today. Thank you. <laughs>